Welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video for WordPress, I'm going to show you how you can use Slider Revolution alongside Elementor or Elementor Pro to insert great looking slides into your website quickly and easily. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So for anyone that doesn't know, Slider Revolution is a great way of creating really dynamic, interesting looking sliders and interactive sliders on your website. Now if you're new to Slider Revolution 5, I'd recommend checking out the entire selection of tutorials I've got that'll take you from the beginning right the way through to some advanced techniques. I'll link that in the description below and also in the top corner now so you can go and check that out if you're not accustomed to working with Slider Revolution. But I'm going to assume that you are and we're going to jump into Elementor and we're going to take a look at two ways that we can use these different sliders inside our web design. So for this demonstration, I've already gone ahead and created a very simple layout inside Elementor using Ocean WP as the theme. So what I want to do next is insert our slider right at the top of the page in between the menu system and this call to action section we have underneath. So let's just jump back into the admin section of WordPress and take a look at what we've got. So we've already downloaded a slider ready to start working with. And it's just one of the premium theme sliders you can download as part of Slider Revolution. So there's two ways we can work with Elementor and Slider Revolution. The first way is by using a short code. So let's take a look at that option first. Whenever you create a slider inside Slider Revolution, you'll see one of the first things you have to do is give it a name. And when you give it a name, it'll also automatically create a short code for you. So if you take a look under the slider settings, you can see we've got the title, the embedding slider code, and we've also got the short code. So all I need to do is copy this. I've now got that on my pasteboard, and I can now start working with that slider and integrate it anywhere I want in my site. So what I'm going to do is just quickly jump over to another tab that I have, which is already opened up inside Elementor. So you can see I've got a normal layout. So all I'm going to do is specify where I want that slider to be. So I'm going to come to the top, I'm going to insert a new row. Once I've done that, I'm going to say add a new section. Set this to be an ordinary single row. You can see now we've got everything in place. So all we need to do is come up to the widgets. What we're going to do in there is we're going to quickly go through and we're going to filter this out for short code. So there we go, that's all we need. So we'll drag and drop that in there. Once we've done that, you can see there's only really one option we have available, and that's the actual short code we want to use. So I'm just going to simply paste that in there so you can see that now it loads up and displays what the slider is going to look like inside the site itself. Now, depending upon your specific requirements, you may want to jump over to the advanced tab, and in there you can do some other things like set margins and padding and so on. So for this, I'm going to simply set everything to zero. So everything is zeroed out nice and neat and tidy. Hit apply on there, and we've now created our simple embedded slider revolution slider. So let's take a look at what that looks like in action on our demonstration page. And there we go. We have our slider already displaying with the video in the background. We scroll down. There's all our text and everything else all laid out the way we'd expect it to be. Obviously, it needs a bit of fine tuning to make sure we've got nice padding and margins and so on with the various different elements, but very easy to insert. So let's jump back into the admin and take a look at the second way we can actually insert code for a slider revolution slider into our page. Okay, so let's just simply delete this. So we'll just delete the content and get rid of that. Okay, so we've got our row already in place. This time, we're going to do it slightly differently. So we're just going to search for slider, and you can see we've got a WordPress widget, which is the Slider Revolution widget. We can simply drag and drop that into the area we want on our page, and you can see this now gives us some slightly different options. We can set a title. We can choose which slider we want to display. For this example, we want the blend mode header one. So we're going to click on that. You see that now loads that in automatically. We can specify this will only display on the home page if we're dealing with something to do with a template that we want to set up. We can also specify the page number that we want it to display on as well. So a few additional options in there. If we jump to the advanced section, you can see all the normal options are available where we can set our margins and padding, background, border, and so on. So let's just hit apply on that, save our page, and we'll just jump back over to our demonstration page, refresh that, and take a look. So back onto our demonstration page, refresh, Give that a second or two to load, and you can see everything's in place exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which method you use, it just comes down to personal preference. And that's how easy it is to insert Slider Revolution 5 sliders into your website using Elementor or Elementor Pro. 
Well, there we go. That pretty much wraps up how you can use Elementor Pro and Slider Revolution 5 together to create great looking interactive websites. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links down below for either Slider Revolution 5 or for Elementor Pro if you're considering purchasing either of those. It helps support the channel and helps us create great content for you every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. Well, until next time, take care.